Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris Creates. This week, I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a one-piece silicon mold backed up with a fiberglass shell mother mold. Now, the piece I'll be molding today is actually a clay pour of an existing sculpt of Freddy Krueger I did about two years ago. Now, for those who don't know what a clay pour is, essentially... Uh, cut a long story short, the mold was actually damaged from this original sculpture. So what I then did was melted down some Chavant NSP soft plasticine, poured it into the damaged mold and backed it up with some expander foam. And this is what I was uh, able to salvage from the mold. So I went in, cleaned up all the details, refined the burns, uh, cleaned the eyes up a little. And essentially what this is going to go towards is actually a display piece that I'm currently designing for the 30th anniversary of A Nightmare on Elm Street. So like I said, we'll be doing a one piece silicone mold over the top of this, backed up with a fiberglass jacket mother mold. Oh, by the way, if anyone's wondering what's going on with the old cookie duster here, it's actually Movember. So that means for the entire month of November, I'm gonna be looking like the seediest 70s cop ever. Now the product that I'm gonna be using today to make the silicon mold is called Pinky Seal, part A and part B. Now this is probably one of the best silicons I've ever used. Uh, the mix ratio is one to one. You've got about a six minute working time, then after that it's gonna start the gel process and then a demolding time of about 30 minutes. I'm hoping to do about four layers of Pinky Seal on its own. Then after that, I'm gonna go in with Pinky Seal Putty. Essentially what Pinky Seal Putty is, is like a much thicker version of Pinky Seal. It's actually pliable like a dough. So what this is gonna allow me to do is go into the mold and patch up and fill in any undercuts that are gonna inhibit our fiberglass mother mold from lifting off easily. Now, of course, for something like this, you're gonna to have to buy some cheap disposable brushes for those brush on molds because let's face it, these things aren't gonna be salvaged. So I think these were for $4.95 at Bunnings Warehouse. The Aussie version of Home Depot for the Yanks. Now the first coat of Pinky Seal is the most crucial and it's what's called the print coat. That's what's gonna pick up all that detail. So I went out of my way and bought an extra fancy brush with soft bristles. It's really gonna get into those crevices and not inhibit the sculpt itself. Next up, you're gonna need a load of mixing cups because Part A, part B, one to one, you're gonna be doing a lot of mixing in between coats. And of course, to mix up that silicon, you're gonna need some tongue depressors. <coughs> and lastly, this is completely optional and at your own discretion. Upon doing the print coat, you wanna get rid of any air bubbles whatsoever. Some people do use a uh, degassing vacuum chamber, but I couldn't be bothered spending $3,000. So you can just get an air compressor or even air in a can. And once you've applied the first coat, just go over. If you see any air bubbles, hit it with the air compressor or the air in a can, and it'll we'll get rid of them straight away. Now, as I mentioned before about any undercuts is what we use the pinky seal putty for. This is gonna be a perfect example for you guys to see. This ear is a perfect example of what's called an undercut. So just say we were to cover the whole thing in silicon and that was still uh, present, it wasn't flush with, uh, with the wood, it's actually gonna make it impossible to lift this mold off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do four brush on coats of pinky sill, and then I'm gonna putty up one end of the ear, put it up like that, and then pour in some pinky sill to fill in that crevice there, which will make an easy demolding. All right, so I think I've pretty much covered all bases of what's about to happen. I've got my t-shirt ready, so with that, Let's get to it. All right guys, here we go. So I've got my Pinky Seal Part A, Part B, one to one. Now, as soon as you start mixing silicon, do not stop. You wanna get a thorough and consistent mix, making sure to scrape the sides of the cup that you're mixing into with your, um, your tongue depressor. As you'll see right here, I'm just going at it like a madman. Just making sure I get all the sides scraped, even the bottom where it, uh, you get all the dregs of the silicon and um, try and be as thorough as you can. And as you see here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pouring the silicon on the ear first, as this is probably one of the worst undercuts I've ever had to deal with. So I wanna get as much silicon coverage on the underside of the ear as possible, so I start by always pouring it on the ear first. Now, Pinky Seal um, has a nice syrupy um, consistency, so it's quite easy to get good coverage over the piece that you'll be molding. Now you are racing against the clock with Pinky Seal or any um, uh, any additional curing silicon to that matter. So 
you want to try and keep your cool and be as thorough as possible. Try and get into all that detail, but at the same time, you want to hurry the f up because you are against the clock, but still maintain that sense of consistency. As you can see, I'm starting to build up the flange on the wooden part of the um, of the mold. So that's going to build up a nice, real thick texture. And I just gave it a quick hit with the air compressor, and we're good for coat number two. Now I'm going to repeat this step four more times. No, sorry, I'm going to repeat this step two more times before I do start uh, tackling the pinky seal putty for the undercuts. So um, what I'm doing here, like I said, I'll do two more times to build up four layers. And after the print coat, it doesn't really matter. I just um, lay it on like that. And there we go, four coats later, we are ready for pinky seal putty. Now again, like the pinky seal silicon, this is one to one, part A, part B, and again, you've got to be so damn thorough when you mix. Just be ruthless with it. As you can see, got a nice putty consistency. Now, I was going to patch up the uh, bottom side of the ear, but I decided to do the top. And I'm also filling in the left eye because this sculpture has quite deep eye sockets, and the left one didn't really fill out with the four coats. And of course the, uh, the underside of the nose with the nostrils, I filled that out. And I'm just starting to build up a nice thickness now with that upper ear. And after all that's done, I did four more layers of pinky seal silicon by itself just to seal it all in and give a nice even consistency over the entire mold itself. Now some people think, oh god this is so much work, but trust me, most of the time it's waiting around for stuff to dry. So in between coats, this is pretty much what I do. Indian guy, I swear to God, his real name was Suck Deep. <laughs> Suck Deep. And there you have it, guys. The first step of our uh, silicon mold and fiberglass mother mold is done. Okay, guys, the first part of this process is done. I actually started molding Freddy at about quarter to 11 at night. It is now 3.30 a.m. and I am extremely, extremely buggered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cure for the whole day and then I'm going to come back to it later tonight and then I'm going to recommence and the next step will obviously be the mother mold made from fiberglass. So with that, good night. So after three and a half hours sleep and working eight hours and being a bit <laughs> the mold is perfectly dry, the silicon's cured very nicely, everything seems to be intact, there's no... Um, no sticky spots or whatnot where it hasn't cured properly. So now we're able to move on to the next step, which is now the fiberglass mother mold or shell mold. What we're gonna be using today is a fiberglass cloth that has been woven and we're gonna be embedding it with a product called Supercast, which is a resin that I'll actually be casting the face of Freddy out of. So here we have our fiberglass cloth. Now I've already gone ahead and pre-cut sheets to uh, drape over the form. And here's what we're going to be embedding the cloth with. This is Supercast. So it acts on the same basis as Pinky Sill. Uh, one to one, part A, part B. You've got about a 10 minute working time with this, depending where you are in the world. If it's humid, you've got a less of a working time. If it's colder, you've got a longer working time. Now, of course, because you're going to be working with fiberglass, you are going to have fiberglass particles in the air, on the ground, whatnot, especially if you're going to be cutting the, uh, the fiber up. So it's essential you need um, a breathing mask, breathing apparatus of some sort, or just uh, a dust mask. Anything that's gonna protect from those fibers getting inside uh, your respiratory system. Again, tongue depressors to mix up that supercast. And who could forget our old faithful pal, plastic cups. All right, let's do it. Round two, fight. Now, just FYI, I did put a base coat of uh, the Supercast down, and that's going to act as an adhesive. I then laid down the uh, individual sheets of fiberglass, and it stuck to it straight away. And then I just went over it right again with uh, Supercast itself, and it just soaks right into that fiberglass cloth and adheres to the, um, to the entire mold itself, to the shape, the form, everything. Now I repeated this step three more times to build up a nice layer of fiberglass cloth. And I then went over three more times with uh, Supercast by itself. Just to make sure there were no rough spots, even though there are, we can still sand them out. And here we are, all dried the next morning. 
I got my lovely screwdriver there. And I'm just going to pry the entire thing, the fiberglass mold, the silica mold, and the clay sculpture itself from the board for demolding. Okay, we've got the sculpt, the silica mold, and the fiberglass mold off the board. So now it's time to pull this baby apart. So I'm just trying to be as careful as I can, especially with those um, fiberglass particles that are still remaining. So everything's airtight, so it's going to be a little bit hard at first to pry everything apart because everything's sealed nice and, nice and tight. And uh, voila, out she pops. So there is our silica mold there that's still adhered to the uh, clay sculpture. And there is our lovely fiberglass mold that needs some severe cleaning up to get rid of those exposed um, fiberglass cloth edges. And here we go, demolding the uh, silicon mold from the clay sculpt. Silicon does not want to stick to anything. It doesn't want a bar of anything. So demolding is pretty easy when it comes to this step. And try and be as careful as you can with those eyes just in case. And there we go. And there you have it guys, our original clay pour sculpture of Freddy. And the only thing that came off upon demolding was the chunk of the ear, which is pretty surprising. And there's our silicon uh, mold, it's been cleaned up and trimmed. And our fiberglass jacket mother mold has been sanded, trimmed, and ready for casting. As you can see, like a glove, fits perfectly. Voila. So thanks very much for watching guys and please remember to subscribe as over the next couple of weeks I'll have a video out on how to make a resin casting from this bad boy. As always, thanks very much for your continuing support and until next time geeks, always remember, cosplayers do it best.